Sup nerds, welcome back to another news video. In today's news video, we're gonna be talking about an update, some weekly stuff, and of course, upgraded bean avatars. It just came out! And as you guys can already tell by my hat and my earrings, it's already going wrong. So if you basically don't know what's going on, players now have upgraded bean avatars. It's not all players though, and basically, upgraded bean avatars are just a new version of bean body avatars. Don't worry though, you can have the old legacy bean avatars if you really want to, but if you want the new, you know, full body, version of bean body avatars then this is basically what it is it's a split test so not everybody has it but some people do have it and your boy is one of them and yeah it just came out so there's like no feedback out but as you guys can obviously tell some things are a little bit different a little bit wonky if you guys pay really close attention you guys can see like i have a little separation for my index finger now on my avatar and stuff maybe it's a little easier to see like this but you see what i'm talking about now when you guys have the upgraded bean body avatars and you guys go to your customization menu you'll find eyebrows and noses here now we have our own settings now you guys will need to do this if you guys want the old bean and stuff like that but if you go to your game settings and go to experience you'll see bean avatar settings now so this is you know obviously if you want to go back to the old bean but if you choose to do this setting and this setting whenever you go inside of vr and look at your actual torso you'll see your torso and with the always show hand settings you'll basically just always see your hand when grabbing stuff oh there we go it's pretty cool be sure to let me know what you guys think and of course i'm, I'm looking at your comments so does legacy finally work for bean body avatars no way it works it works now Bean body avatars inside of Rec Room have had the worst bug in such a long time. Kind of why I've always been in full body avatar, but basically your hats would stay like on top of your hair, and I have an afro. I would try on more items and stuff like that to show you guys and stuff, but if you have the actual split test, be sure to check it out in game. If you guys are interested in that though, be sure to let me know down in the comments, and let's continue on with the news. I'm now realizing that as I use upgraded bean body avatars too, whenever I'm in my menu and looking at stuff, it actually just points my finger for me already. As you guys can see, this is my hand, and then right as I'm on it, bam. BAM. Little cool detail I thought I'd add. Anyways, in case you guys haven't seen, this is our new weekly shop. It's titled Carnival Fright, and as you guys can see, it has the obvious Make It to Midnight theme to it. There's also some pretty cool decorations with this new shop as well. Sadly, you can't grab those darts to throw them at people, so uh... That kind of sucks. Then we have these items inside the shop, and as you guys can see, some are new, some are old, but they're all pretty spooky. Then we have some item sets here, which reveal some new pants, some new shoes. Then we have this new item set and stuff like that, and of course, that's pretty much it. Save us some time here, new rec center shop, BAM! Weekly rotation image, what do you guys think? And in case you guys haven't seen, we have new discounted offers, and if you don't know what these are, they're basically items that are like 50% off, so take advantage. And of course, props to the team who made this sh uh, weekly shop this week, it's really decorated and I like it a lot. Then we have our board, I'm pretty sure we got some new posts on Instagram, and then we have a new featured creator named I Am Potato. New featured rooms as well, and if you guys haven't seen, Rec Room has a whole video going over all the Rec Room featured rooms, so be sure to watch that. And in case you guys haven't actually realized, Rec Room has an exclusive skin. They had an announcement saying new items are available to you when you redeem a gift card, including their gift card exclusive confetti gun skin. Obviously, it's just more incentive to buy gift cards and stuff like that, and if you find yourself buying a lot of Rec Room gift cards, then be sure to let me know how many gift cards it takes you to actually get that confetti gun. Now, on to our update. Of course, you were expecting this part inside the video. I, I have to use this for this membership reading. But basically, I have a channel membership on my channel where people give me money every month and I give them specific perks every month. Those perks are being shouted out in all of my videos and even sneak peeks to some videos too. Anyways, let's get started. Shout out to these people who include Nat the Pup, Jack Tutorial, The Dragon Boy, Ghastly, Garlic Bread, It's Ready RR, Dozer Blade Cap, BB Running Owl, Yo Shaky, Raphael, Cloud, Netflix 69, and of course, Box David. Thank you for supporting me. These people have been supporting me for months and months and months and i honestly really do appreciate it if you guys want to join the family and be shouted out in all my videos and get sneak peeks in my discord server which is inside the description below then of course consider joining anyways um ba back to the video so rec room just had a new update called the upgraded bean edition they have this tldr section basically saying we're starting the upgraded bean experiment tomorrow and see if you're a part of it and if you are just be sure to let them know what you think room contributors can now be only added by invitation they added chips that detect the player's input type and they've lastly added a text filter to the event sender and event receiver notes which now allow you to sort and filter now this update of course has more information in it it's just the tldr of the main things that they added and of course let's dig into that Though if you're not interested, time frame is on the screen, uh, hopefully right there, yeah. 
For avatars, some of you will soon have the option to try the upgraded bean avatar, and as opposed to your normal everyday bean, check it out and let us know how you like it. And if you really want to go back to your normal bean avatar, we added a switch so you'll be able to change it back and forth no problem. They updated how full body scaling also works to allow your arms to better fit your avatar, make sure you have good measurements and enjoy a better embodiment of your avatar. Hat adjustments work on full body and you can now finally adjust the hat position of all your favorite hats with the full body avatars. And as a part of this work, we also fixed the bug so you can quote unquote use legacy position once again for full body avatars and eventually for the floating bean. They also made it so that the upgraded bean players in VR won't have their camera level scale with their avatar's height, and they improved the performance of avatar customization windows. For general improvements and bug fixes, they made progress shortening with the Maker Pen's initial load time, room contributors now must be added by invitation, they implemented a fix for mobile which makes fog more transparent and less harsh, and some custom shirts were priced under a thousand tokens but weren't visible in the watch. And now they are. They added all these new local chips, be sure to let me know what you guys think if you guys are a big chip nerd, and they addressed an issue that allowed the creation of corrupted adventures by ensuring that with the maker pen is dropped to take an invention photo and then picked up. They also addressed an issue that allowed the creation of corrupted inventions by ensuring that when the maker pen is dropped to take an invention photo and then pick it up. The editing state of the maker pen is restored. They added a text filter to the event sender and event receiver nodes which now allow you to sort and filter. In rooms 1, cloning a simple prop, example basketball, using a directional clone implemented a fix which disables collisions on the clone source, so the clone won't immediately collide. They then fixed an issue where sawhorse horse hats weren't appearing and they really had to start busting ghost hats the first week of spooky season. Also fixed sore horse items, thumbnails for not showing up in gift notifications, and added fixes for notifications in VR where the menu button wasn't behaving properly. BAD BUTTON BAD! Now to talk about this weekly rotation, it seems like this is the first week of spooky season, which is great to see. Hope Requiem does a lot this Halloween and of course we'll wait and see how spooky it is. They fixed an issue where the favorite friend badge was getting cut off, and lastly added auto assignable player tags in the updated room permissions tab. For Rooms 2.0, they fixed an issue where a shape could end with a negative scale value when the scale tool is used. Now scaling will stop and you will receive a notification that you cannot scale further. They increased the maximum amount of inventory items allowed in a reward from 100 to 1 million. That's a lot. And they added polish to the Maker Pen UX in the Hierarchy tab. Lastly, they got rid of some settings in Rooms 2 permissions tab that were exclusive to Rooms 1. For Rec Room Studio, new functionality is now available for lights in Studio Rooms. The Universal Additional Light Data component now exposes the 8 option for per light specular contribution. Lights that have been upgraded to support specular contribution that are spotlights also now can use the inner spot angle to change the light and to antinuation? Antinu- uh, I'm- okay. Fix the bug which caused buttons and some other asset palette prefabs to appear rotated incorrectly when dropped into the scene view. And lastly, added a fix to avoid a bug in Unity that could prevent rooms from loading when the Unity project path contains multi-byte UTF-8 characters. Now for the last part and our favorite part, experiments. You know how on screens you can pick up a blob of shapes, pretend to throw it, and it'll just stay stuck in the air? Well, what if instead of you could precisely place the shapes that where you want it? Now you can can, which we hope can make building blocks and board game type experiences a bit more possible. Currently, all rooms one shapes set to decoration or environmental have this as their main action instead of pretending to throw them, but we hope to extend the compatibility to more objects in the future. They added an experiment for opening the customization page in the navigation bar, but the page will display a back button, and clicking it will display the last watch page instead of closing the watch. And lastly, starting an experiment that will replace imposter rendering with item thumbnails in the store. This shouldn't affect what you see, but will consume less memory. Just putting it here one more time, but we will be starting the experiment for the upgraded beam with rollouts to more players coming soon. And thank you for reading all the way down here by the way. Have a cookie, you earned it. And of course, that's pretty much all the news inside of Rec Room right now. I covered basically everything, and be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts, feedback, or predictions for the future. Thank you for watching all the way to this point in the video, and if you haven't already, be sure to like, subscribe, do all that crazy stuff, because I greatly appreciate it. And if you guys want to see more Rec Room news, I have other videos talking about Rec Room news and stuff, so be sure to check those out, and maybe even share with a friend. And uh, yeah, sorry for the lack of uploads recently, I just kind of, you know, haven't been uploading. That, that, on, honestly. Man, the day I get a sh raid, ugh, what? The day I get a raid Shadow Legends ad is probably the the time I'll peak. <laughs>